Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Pixis OS version 7, which is based on Android 14 for our Nothing Phone 1. So, without wasting more time, let's get to it. So guys, this is the Pixis OS version 7, which is based on Android 14 and for our Nothing Phone 1 as being in the first custom ROM. So yeah, this is the uh, Android 14 uh, Easter egg. I don't know how to interact. Uh, like how to actually play this or something if it's something like that but yeah this is how I interact with this so yeah it's good for those who understand it's really nice and those who don't let's just google it and see I think we have to find something because there's uh, something it says bodies 0 out of 9 so I guess you have to find something some bodies or something but yeah let's just find it like later on let's move to the uh, ROM now and I don't know I have to just you know it was in the recent app and I have to uh, just wipe it off to get to the setting screen or the home screen. I don't know why. So guys, as the name says, Pixis OS, this ROM is fully giving you a pixel experience right from the starting. The boot animation, the wallpapers, everything, everything is pixelified. So you don't have to worry about any glitches or lags. This is total smooth and we are getting the full 120 hertz experience. And this is the settings, obviously. And there's not much changes uh, in this version than Android 14. Let's see what Google improves later on. Now let's move to the Pixis OS stuff. We get is this the experimented stuff, the laboratory. And we have these three options, which are really useful for custom ROM users, but we don't know if they might work or might not, or might fail, or may have some extra bugs with it. So just maybe keep it out if you don't really need it. And if you really need it, you can just try and let me know in the comment section so that I can update the description as always. Now, nothing as such in this. Uh, we have the display and just basic stuff, you know, from the display into the battery. We have this one addition. We have this battery widget uh, where you can just directly add the battery widget and you'll get all these the devices battery. So this is also nice. Like, I don't know why, but it's nice. Then just, just pure normal stuff. We also have the glyph interface, but it does not, I guess it does not work uh, that much. I did not have it working. Well, I call it sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. Is that maybe that's the issue with me. Then we also have the double tap to check phone. So this is also nice. Always on fingerprint. I don't know what is that. All of us are looking at the screen off. Let's see. Oh, I don't have a fingerprint set, but I think it works. Uh, maybe tap to check phone. Okay, so this is a single tap. So no, no, that's not double tap. Sorry, then swipe to screenshot. I forgot to enable that. And yeah, basic stuff is there. But yeah, some uh, some of the features that you really need, handy features are really here. So yeah, I think you should guys uh, try this one out. As this is Android 14, you will get a first-hand experience of Android 14 on your Nothing Phone One. So you can maybe you know just decide to whether switch or wait. And yeah, that is it for this ROM. Uh, let's move to the installation which is the main part and it's kind of easy but still I'm going to do it so let's move towards that. Uh, before moving towards the installation I forgot to tell you guys that this has the nothing camera so yeah you get the full pure experience you get like I mean the camera is not a good one like in terms of the pricing in this phone but yeah you get the stock camera so what else we need we can always go for the Gcam. So that is also really nice. I don't know if, if there are some issues in the Android 14 uh, with Gcam, but yeah, you can always give it a try. It's not that much of a change just from Android 13. So yeah, let's move now to the installation finally. So guys, now moving towards the installation, you will need a PC, obviously you have nothing phone one and a USB cable, uh, the type C cable. And I'm using this uh, USB type C cable, the boat one, and it works totally fine. So you can use that too. So first you have to connect your device uh, PC, uh, connect your phone to your PC and make sure you have USB debugging uh, turned on and also uh, ADB fast boot drivers everything is there and you also have the uh, platform tools so I have these platform tools I will give the link to it in the description so you can download that and here yeah, you can download everything uh, from the description the ROM and everything whatever the requirements are first uh, let's move towards the directory And you can follow these commands uh, like throughout your own. Now we have ADB reboot. 
boot loader you have to use this command to boot your device into fast boot it might take some time just some seconds Now guys, this procedure will format your data. So you have to back up everything you have. And yes, you have to back up everything. Please make sure you back up that or else then your data loss is not on me and it's not on you, then it's on the phone. So yeah, just leave it to that. Now you have to, uh, as you can see, uh, your device is in the fast boot mode or the bootloader mode, as you can see. And here you have to write fast boot dash w and this will wipe your user data uh, i think something's wrong with this uh the fast boot i think something's wrong with the fast boot i guess so guys i don't know for some re weird reason it was not detecting fast boot so and i also forgot to do fast boot devices but now it's detecting so don't worry let's continue from here only it's on start and make sure your device is getting detected uh, as ADB in device manager. Let me show you that. It was not showing. As you can see, this is the Android ADB interface. If you want this driver, I can also link that if you fail uh, somewhere in the fast boot. So yeah, you just have to enter. And uh, it will take some seconds and yep. Uh, it has finished uh, wiping your data. Then you have to type fast boot update and choose the zip file, the Pixie SOS zip file. Now while copying, you will get at this, uh, the point uh, dot image uh, prefix. Now you have to replace it just with dot zip. And the process will start. This is the installation process. It's quite easy. You don't have to go into TTWAP and do all that stuff, just, but actually it's not handy for those who do not have a PC or laptop nearby them. And if you just want a quick install, like the older methods, it was easy with the TWRP. You can just download it on the phone, move it in an internal or SD card, whatever you want, and then just flash it without the hassle of getting into uh, getting a PC or uh, laptop nearby. So yeah, that is also the thing. And let me skip this. I don't know how much time it will take, but let's skip this. So guys, as you can see, the installation has been finished and there's nothing, no indication on the phone. Uh, oh. I uh, just uh, press the button, sorry. Uh, now this will reboot uh, and you can see the boot animation. Don't worry, that's it for the uh, installation. That's uh, not much, but now you can see the Pixis OS boot animation, which is like a pixel thing. So let's wait for that. And I will end the video straight away. And guys, this is the uh, 5 November uh, build. So I'm really sorry, I actually reviewed the old build, not the newer one. But there's not a lot of changes like been made in this one. So yeah, if there are any changes made which are really important for you to know, I will let them know in the comment section below. And uh, like I will pin it and also it will be in the description that is the version 2. Like it's the beta version 2. So yep, uh, you can enjoy it straight away after this setup and this is the logo. Looks really nice on our OLED display. So that is it guys for the video if you guys really enjoyed this video if you really want to install Android 14 then please press the like button if not press the dislike button and for this kind of feedback the negative positive ones please post it down below in the comment section so that I will uh, check that and see if uh, I have any uh, room for improvement in the next video. So yeah also if you want more videos regarding the nothing phone one then you can just subscribe to my channel and you will get a lot of stuff uh, upcoming now. So as you can see, the setup screen has come and the time for us to go has come too. So goodbye guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.